Hey everybody, this is Carolise. How are you guys? Today I am on the road, as you can see. I am heading to my office. And as I'm taking this drive, I thought, hey, let me make a video and talk to my people about what's on my mind, right? So what I was thinking about is confidence um, in starting your career. Confidence in becoming a business analyst. Confidence in maybe just switching careers, starting something new. I have so many people that do my consultation. And one of the number one things that I often hear is, I don't have the confidence. I feel like I do have transferable skills. I feel like I do know I would enjoy being a business analyst. I feel like I could do the job, but I don't have the confidence. I feel like I'm not able to articulate myself well in the interview. I feel like I don't know enough and I'm just scared. You know, I'm just scared and I, I need someone to help me get there. And I often work with them and I normally help them to, to build up that confidence. But it's such a common thing. I thought I'd talk about it some more because it's scary. It's scary starting a new job. It's scary switching careers. It's scary going out there for your first job right um, and many of us made a lot of mistakes along the way and I want you to know it's okay to be scared it is it's okay to be scared but start anyway start scared <laughs> don't do the opposite where you're scared so you don't start no scared and start most of the people that you see are successful in life it's not because they particularly know more than you or did anything special they just did something they started, they went out there, they, they tried. And sometimes it takes many failures before you get it right. But it's okay. Every time you fail, you get down and you get back up. So that's one thing I wanted to talk about. On this drive, I'm going to be going through an area of Atlanta that has some very, very successful people. Some very nice houses in some very nice neighborhoods. And I could have taken a drive on the highway, but I chose to take the drive here through this neighborhood. Well, I'm not there yet, but I'll eventually get there. Um, because I sometimes like to just be inspired by what others are doing. And so when I see these really nice houses, million dollar houses and all these things, I'm like, wow, this is great. I, live, I wish one day I'll be able to you know, live in one of those houses. Now, I'm not jealous of them. I just like to always look to the next level, right? What's the next level? And so when you're scared and you look through your, your window and you see somebody else doing it and doing it well and you see somebody else being successful, that should really drive you to do more. Like it should drive you to want to be as successful as that person. And sometimes the motivation comes through looking through their eyes. Sometimes it's just looking and seeing what are they doing? We all have the same 24 hours in the day. We all have the same time. So time is a constant for everybody. But yet still, some people are making more money, um, being more successful, accomplishing more in the same 24 hours. And it's like, why? What are they, you know, what are they doing? They have found a way to make their time more valuable. They have found a way to get paid more for their time. And that might be by doing, uh, you know, getting educated, you know, spending more time uh, learning new things that others have not. So there's a lot of things that um, they may have done to get where they're going. And so it's really all about the time game. How can you make your time just more valuable, right, is what you need to do. So business analysis is one of those careers that you can start off and it's like a middle management job. So you really, you manage yourself, you know, you have a lot of, um, you could have a lot of say in the direction of, of the products that you work with or the processes that you're developing. So there's a lot of um, things that you can influence and that's great. Building influence is always good. And so you get paid more for that, right? So it's just, what are the small things you can do? It maybe it's not business analysis only. Maybe there's something that you're just great at that you could to hone that skill and 
you know, find a way to, to make your time doing that just more valuable. So the point I'm making here is time is a constant. We all have the same number of hours in the day. So if you want to increase your value, you really have to find ways to make your time just be worth more. That could be switching careers, getting a new job in a different career that pays more, doing more um, in, you know, in something else probably. But those are just some of the ways that you could think about how do I make my time more valuable. If you're spending time doing things that don't add value to you, you need to cut it out. <laughs> right? I've cut out so many things. Oh my God. I've cut so many things out of my life because I want to focus on the things that are valuable to me and the things that are helpful to me and to the people that I'm serving. Right? I want to be able to produce content that's going to be helpful. I want to be able to uh, write more books. I want to be able to, you know, just do more that's going to increase the value of my time and also be able to help people in the process. So that's where I'm focused. And, you know, I think thinking through this, having confidence is a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of internal self-reflection you need to have to be able to build that confidence. Knowing how to do something is definitely helpful. You know, practicing something helps you to say, okay, I can do it. You've proven to yourself you can do it. But there's an unspoken part of it as well, which is believing in yourself. And wherever you can find that motivation, whether it is looking at other people doing the job successfully, looking at uh, just, you know, looking at a company that you love to work for, going to the office and sitting down there and saying, you know what, I one day I want to walk through those doors as an employee. Or one day I want to walk through these doors as a manager. Or one day I want to be, you know, like just, you know, putting yourself in that place. Like now I'm taking this ride. I wish I could turn my camera around. Uh, right now you're only going to see trees. But behind the trees are some pathways up to the houses. And these are some beautiful houses, I'm telling you. I look at the houses and I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I like it. When I get to one that's not in the hill, I will switch the camera around so you can see it. Right now, it's just, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, so there's not much to see right now, but I'll show you in a second. I would like to turn, look at that lions outside, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is some beautiful places. Um, I'm probably going too fast for you to see it properly, but I also need to get to where I'm going. <laughs> Anyway, so I tried to turn the camera around. I don't know if it did. It just, I ended up seeing a bunch of um, cars because there's graduation going on and lots of the houses are behind, you know, fortified walls anyway. So it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, you could see as you're driving, if, you know, there's things you can see that you won't see on the camera. So it's fine. The point I'm making is you build your confidence by doing more and you build your confidence by having just the belief that you can accomplish whatever somebody else has accomplished because they don't have more time than you. They don't have more physical attributes than you, right? So there's nothing that they're doing that's really that special. They just happen to maybe make the right connections, maybe make some earlier choices that you didn't make. I just want you to be encouraged that it doesn't really matter your age. It doesn't matter your nationality. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, how, how much more educated you are than somebody else. You really can accomplish whatever you want. If education is um, something that you are, you are required to have for the job, for example, you have to have a bachelor's degree or you have to have a master's degree, fine, go get it. But it's not that you are less because 
you know, there's nothing that anybody else is doing that's really great, greater than what you're doing. It's just that they spent more time in it, they focused on it, and they decided they're going to do it, right? So don't be too intimidated by people. Don't be too intimidated by the fact that you are just starting out or you don't know how to start in something. Um, if you're scared, it's fine. We're all scared. Everybody, every one of us are scared about something, but it shouldn't stop you from doing it. You know what I mean? Go out there and try. And maybe business analysis is not for you. Maybe you're calling it something else. Keep trying something until something works, right? One of the challenges I have to is, you know, I start a lot of things in my life, right? I've lived in different countries to the point where my family's like over it. <laughs> They're like, where are you going to live now, Carolise? Uh, China? Okay, fine. Like, they just, the first time I traveled to live overseas, my mom was really worried and like, oh my God, my daughter's leaving to some faraway land that nobody knows her. She doesn't even know the language, blah, blah, blah. And she was worried and then she got over it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I kept doing it. And she's like, okay. Now they're at a point where they just, whenever I have to make a big move, they trust me, I'm gonna make the right move. And it's just like, okay, fine, she's doing it again, okay. <laughs> right? Nobody's worried anymore, which is, it kinda of hurts. Nobody really worries about me anymore. But I'm just saying that I've started strange things. Up and moved to a country, I don't speak the language, I don't know anyone. Uh, it's just <laughs> a complete experiment, right? I've done that. So for me, starting something new, not knowing it is not uh, a deterrent. But I do understand, you know, why people feel that way. Because there's just so much anxiety around starting a new career. So much anxiety about starting a new job even. Like, now you got to learn a, new, a whole new system, whole new people. You got to figure out everything again. Ugh, who wants to do that, right? So sometimes we stay in our existing jobs that we're not happy in. But we stay because the alternative is to go learn something new and do something new with new people. And it's just more comfortable to do what you know than to take on a new challenge, right? And so we stay there miserable, unhappy, when we could be happy somewhere else. Maybe we go somewhere else and it sucks. It sucks worse than where you were. That can happen. Or you could go somewhere else and it's great and the people are wonderful and you're learning more things and you're doing less and getting paid more. Oh, that could happen too. So don't stick in the one negative side. Think about both sides. And if it's worth a shot, then try it. If you're happy where you are and you really don't have a reason to move, stay. But if you really feel like this is this is not right, I'm not happy. Going to work is a is like a <laughs> a dreary thing. You're unhappy doing it. It's like a burden to you. And it's not because of the tasks you're doing. Because sometimes. You know, if you're a business analyst, the task is going to be similar wherever you go most of the time. I mean, you could be doing something a little bit different based on the product or the process or the company, but you're really still doing analysis, you're doing, um, you know, requirements, visitation, all that stuff. So if you're not happy doing that, then you really need to think about a different career. But if you're happy doing that, you just don't like the way it's being done where you are, then think about moving. Think about moving, you know. Don't be scared to move. Don't be scared to try new things, you know. Don't be scared to start a new career. You're already working in something and you've been doing it for years and you know it. And maybe you want to try something different. It doesn't matter your age. You can try. You could be 45 years old. You could be 50. You could try something different, <laughs> okay. You could be 20, just coming into the working world. You can try it, right? Just guys, get the confidence. Get the confidence by doing the work, seeing that you can do it. Again, I have some case studies on my website. Go look at those, figure that out, watch the videos. You know, not just my videos, there's other people out there making good videos around business analysis. Go look at those, listen to some podcasts. Get in the world, you know, get in the world, understand what they're talking about, figure out the, the jargons and try, okay? Well, I'm almost at my location, so I'm going to get off this phone with y'all. And uh, I will talk to y'all next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.